this is my 12 year old son yes um you can see basically i'm a little person but that's okay you feel me he know what it is and what it ain't period okay but anyway this video basically is about have you ever wanted to start your own jewelry line whether it's custom jewelry whether it's solid pieces whether it's birthstone pieces what have you have you ever wanted to start your own jewelry line well guess what i have the juice for you okay hey candy kings and queens welcome back to another episode with your girl so yes today i have a special guest with me you guys look yes honey this is my son this is my little prince this is mr qgb himself you guys yes this is my little inspiration okay he's the infamous person behind me actually started my channel so uh yeah thanks to him but anyway we'll talk about that on another day okay today we want to talk to you guys about we wanted to tell you guys about what what we want to tell them about uh, we're going to tell y'all about uh, how I started my business with chains and stuff like that what he's selling chains y'all did y'all hear that he said he started his own business selling chains let's tell everybody a little behind the scenes about you okay I'm just doing a little behind the scenes interview with him for you guys, okay? Um, it's another business venture. Of course, you guys know I love to give you guys ideas. And of course, this one I thought would be the perfect example for me to share with you guys, especially for my kings. I mean, not saying it's just for my kings, okay? Because yes, my queens, you guys can do this too. And I'm going to show you how, okay? Um, so yeah, we're going to do like a little mini interview for him so that he can kind of give you guys a behind the scenes or an in-depth description about what he does in the summertime during his summer break um, besides studying and besides doing other productive things. Okay, don't worry. I don't take him away from his books and I don't take him away from his reading. I don't take him away from none of his learning activities or learning experiences. Ain't that right, baby? You still do work, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but he wanted, he's this this kid here is like my little entrepreneur kid okay he's always had that entrepreneurial spirit about him and he's always wanted to do something or he's always doing something <laughs> sorry y'all max is of course my other son he always gotta have his little five minutes of fame so hey max okay bye max max you gotta go <laughs> <laughs> anyway so yes um one summer i think it was it last summer that you did the rocks okay so last summer he took it upon himself to actually start his own little business right and I, I was so intrigued that was so inspired i was so happy i was like what i had no idea that he had that in him right so tell them what you did so what i did i just went to the backyard me and my friend we just went to the backyard because we was just chilling so we just dig up some rocks i just came up with this idea out of nowhere i said hey yo let's sell some rocks because it was some <laughs> it was some good rocks in there they were like crystals, right? Yeah. They were like really cool and so, rocks. And so like most of them was like, okay, they like real gold rocks and diamonds. Because of course they can believe the little kids. We thought it was real gold though. And it was cool. So what they did, um, they dug up all of the rocks out of the backyard. Basically these were like crystal looking rocks. <laughs> rocks that they could find out of the backyard they basically came in and showed them to me and i was like what in the world where did you get these from son and, and why do you have them and, and then so i was just like i was like mama can we go down to the curb and sell some rocks or she was like nah then she was like please and so i said what if i make money and I'm like, okay, well, hey, you know, what the heck? It's worth the try, right? So I helped them out. What did I do? I went and got you what? A sign. Yes. I went and got them a poster board and some markers so that they can create a nice little sign that they can hold while they're out in the yard selling the rocks, okay? Um, they went and took everything down to the front yard, right? You and your yeah. friend, him and we, his friend, because he wanted to do it with his friends. So we, they took it yeah. together. It was a and business. It was a partnership, okay? <laughs> And so we end up like, grab, I took a hammer with us. That's just in case they weren't smashed. They wanted smaller sizes. Lo and behold, you guys. So once they went down to the front yard, I would say probably no less than an hour. I was at work, you know, like um, I work at home and I just like look out the window and I'm like, what's my wait a minute people are people are really stopping by and checking my kid out him and his homie they like stopping trying to see what they got and <laughs> he comes 
mom's in the house probably what maybe two hours later two yeah, hours it later like, it was so really fast it was really fast though because they went out like that evening it was already kind of late in the evening but it was once they got out there it was like it was no stopping them. Everybody came from, of course, it was mostly neighbors, you know, and people who drove by within the neighborhood, they would stop and they purchased items from him and his friend, of course. And so how much did you guys make at the end of the night? Like It was like 14 or $15 and we split it. Yeah, 14 or $15 off of rocks from the backyard, you know, <laughs> I mean, yes, it's just a cute little story that we like to share because it was cute. It was like unbelievable that people even thought like, hey, yeah, I'll buy these rocks. Like, I mean, they supported him. And from there and that moment on, he's basically always wanted to continue his entrepreneurial skills. Like I said, he's the one that introduced me into YouTube. So he has a channel. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to his channel. And it's Quintel Gamer Blogger. Tell them, baby. <laughs> Went to Gamer Vlogger. Yes. Go subscribe. What you, it's a gaming channel. It's what and you guys going to get with him. And he does have, like, some cool pranks and cool things that him and his sister like to do. So, definitely check him out, okay? But, back to what we really came for. So, this year, he decided he wanted to start another business, right? So, tell him, Quintel, what okay. kind of business did you want to start this year? A chain selling business. A chain selling business when he says chain he means these nice little gold chains that you see all over the internet all over instagram he started a business selling these this summer quintel what inspired you or what made you want to open a business selling chains uh this summer i just like change like i'm like a chain person like i don't stop wearing chains only time i start wearing chains is when we go to the store <laughs> and so i wear my favorite one today which is my qgb one and on my birthday, I got a lot of chains. So yes. I end up making my own, like, just making a business. Yes. He's a very, um, I don't know what kind of person this is that you want to call it, but he loves jewelry, basically, okay? He loves his nice pieces. Look at that. He even got on his nice little watch right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if you want to get him a gift or if you want to send him any type of fan mail, definitely send him a piece of jewelry. I don't care what it is. He loves rings, bracelets, necklaces, you name it. He loves it all, okay? Of course, the manly kind, you know. <laughs> okay, so yes, with that being said, um, basically... Once he came to us and told us that he wanted to sell chains or that he would be interested in opening a store where he could sell some of his custom chains, um, of course, what better opportunity for me and dad to hop on board and, you know, show him the ropes and kind of get him in there and make some things happen for him, right? So what happened after that, Quintel, once you told us? Y'all ended up helping me make a website. And so as soon as they made the website, it was just like, wow, thank you. <laughs> it was like wow yeah so we helped him create a website of course it was more of us going in and making everything work and look all nice and fancy for him he's not really uh savvy when it comes to the website however what can you do i can do graphics i usually do them. my dad taught me when i was like it was like a year ago probably yeah so yeah he's definitely learning okay so he's He's an aspiring entrepreneur in many ways, okay? He has many things under his belt, okay? But anyway, so, yes, once we started up his website, uh, we basically got him some advertising going on. We, of course, started with the family, friends, and let all of the relatives know, you know, hey, Quintel just started his first business, you know, come on, support him. And when everybody seen what he was doing, they were extremely excited. They were like, wow, you can do that? Or, wow, you're selling those chains? Wow you're selling those bracelets wow you got that too so it was really exciting and so with everybody being so excited everybody of course they were like what let me get one <laughs> yes everybody wanted a chain right so with that being said of course what better way than to supply them with their needs right oh tell them your website baby what's the name of it uh, royal true fashion go check it out right now go get the best chain of your life Get one custom made. You can get one that says QGV or Candy Dreams, whatever. Whatever your name is, whatever your taste is, you can get it. And he does not only have these. He has all types of necklaces yeah. available on his website, okay? It's, I have, like, Cuban link chains. Yes. Like the fat versions, the best <laughs> ones. Yeah, he has all kinds of chains. But anyway, so back to the interview, and let's get to the juice, right? So, 
over the summer school just started back for us here a couple of days ago and over the summer this kid has really impressed me he never ceases to amaze me he always makes me happy and i hope he continues to do so and uh yeah so tell him quintel how much you earned this summer 480 dollars and thank you for whoever supported and bought a chain from me. I will be giving you a shout out on my YouTube channel. Yes, so Just make sure you know. go and check that out on his YouTube channel, okay? Because I'm not doing his shout outs on my channel, okay? I'll do my shout outs. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, he made $480, you guys. So he's balling on a budget. Basically, all summer long, period. He did that $480 richer to go into the school year. Wow. So yeah, he's $480 richer going into the school year. And how exciting is that, Quintel? How do you feel with your uh, new business venture and having the rewards that you have? Extremely excited because I can just like go to school and be like, hey, you want to buy one of my chains? Yeah, you can continue your entrepreneurship or your business in school and let all your friends know so that they can get them a name necklace or what have you. And again, and ladies it's not just for the men it's also for the ladies so you can get you a chain made some perfect examples i'm sure you guys have seen me wear these before um and if you haven't here you go look at that how cute is that these are this is a hebrew necklace and the saying for this particular necklace is balsam this is a balsam hebrew necklace i also have this necklace that i often wear and I'm sure you've seen this one because I wear it a lot. It means a lot to me. Um, it was something that I had made for my grandmother when she passed away. And this one says, Sweet Baby. So, yes, um, that's, that's Quintel's story. And he just wanted to share that with you guys before we get started, okay? Because I wanted to bring this idea to you guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to give me a like. I mean... And don't, yeah, don't look at me like that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give me a like. And don't forget to go over to QGV, which is in the description. Like, subscribe, and comment on one of those videos, okay? Show my baby some love, you know? He just showed y'all some love, okay? Okay, so yes, honey, that's QGV himself. Yes, he did that all summer long. I'm so proud of that kid, y'all. $480, not $400, but $480 over the summer, you know, and he didn't even have to put in hard work. I'm just saying, this is just another idea for you guys to think about or consider. Or if you have young kids or young teens, definitely think about starting them up a Shopify store or a Wix store, something that they can sell some intangible items, something that you don't have to have on hand or online, or something that you don't have to have on hand or have to have a storage for it, okay? So basically what I wanted to share with you guys today was about an opportunity for you guys to think about starting your own business or like I said giving the information to somebody that you know or maybe passing it down to your kids as well helping them to grow and glow up okay because these are some of the things that they do not learn in school unfortunately and I feel that me as a parent me and his dad both we feel this way we have to teach our kids about other things in life there's all kinds of change and I'll be sure to put up some more samples and examples of what you can do. I mean, the sky's the limit. There's rings, there's bracelets, there's watches, there's earrings, what have you. Whatever your jewelry fantasy is, you are more than welcome to start your online store as soon as possible and get your coins rolling in, okay? All it takes is just a little bit of advertising and a little bit of word of mouth. That's going to always be your best way of advertising, you know? So, yeah. So, honey, are you ready to start your own jewelry line? Make sure you go ahead and click down below the link is in the description to get you started baby you can get your store started tonight if you want to need help with your website let me know boo i got you okay you can always use wix wix is free you can always use shopify shopify is free for the first 14 days um right after that then you start your little payment plan or what have you okay uh there's big cartel there's all types of platforms that you can use to get your website started okay honey there you have it okay uh thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that it was very helpful and resourceful for you. And I can't wait to see you guys starting your own lines or your own business ventures, okay? I'm here for you, okay? I'm trying to help you 
Get your coins up. Get your weight up so that you can save, so that you can do big things that you dreamed about doing or doing whatever it is that you're trying to do. You know, it's just to help you accomplish another goal and to keep going and accomplish more goals. You never know. You could turn into the next check of the jeweler, period. No. <laughs> but no, you could stop I me. Mean, seriously, you never know how big your line could go. And always dream big. Always think about it. So, yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much. And don't forget, subscribe if you haven't. And the link is in the description. And I thank you guys so much for all of the love and all of the support. Thank you, babies. Bye-bye.